What is going on everybody? Rod J back again to take a look at another beer. Thanks for swinging by to check out another video today. I want to take a look at the Galaxy Bowl from Hot Butcher for the World. Thanks to Jeremiah for sending this my way so I can take a look at this one. Big shout out also to Kyle from No Hype Beer Reviews and Sean and Mike from Nerd Sense who actually got uh, Jeremiah my name as someone to uh, reach out to as well so looking forward to checking this out now they are actually out of Illinois heard some pretty good things around Hot Butcher so looking forward to really get into the beer uh, they sent me a few beers down if you've seen the unboxing you saw some of the beers or actually all the beers they had sent to me so it should be a nice fine tasting this one uh, tasting those ripe peach sweet pineapple and juicy uh, passion fruit are noted on the back side they tell you by the hop design what to kind of expect there. Does have a date on here, so we're always good. Love to see the date on stuff. And 7.5% ABV, so that gets them right to the minimum level for looking at a double IPA. Let's get this baby cracked open and get it into a glass. See what this one has to offer. And for this, I'm just going to use my IPA glass. 7.5, don't really need a snifter for that in my book, so I think we're in good shape. There we go. And this is a pint can I'm actually pouring from. But you take a look at that. It's got a nice little pineapple yellow color to it. And a uh, nice foamy head, head itself that I put on this one. Uh, I'm going to say about three finger. And some nice suziness to it. So it should lace the glass nicely. Oh, nice feel of tropical notes coming out. You can definitely pick up some of that passion fruit. A little bit of a pineapple type aroma. Got a nice little bit of juiciness there on the nose. And you get a little bit of that dankness in there from the hops, a little bit of a light musky type quality. But you're definitely picking up that freshness there from the hops taste wise. You get a nice feel in the throat. You get a little bit of that scratchiness in play. That freshness of the hops obviously coming through. Nice juiciness there in the texture goes down rather easily I'm left with tones of kind of like a pineapple you know the passion fruit a little bit of a mango type feel to it nice citrusy tropical roundabout notes are in place you can really feel it in the front of the mouth of the flavors kind of lingering a nice feel on the tongue itself from the beer a little bit softened of the carbonation in play a little bit of an astringency factor in play but that nice juiciness that just remains there on your lips slightly and again right around the mouth area as I'm going down half through the glass now I feel some in the cheeks so the cheek area is feeling really nice where it's holding those flavors in as you like get that astringency kicking in and you uh, suck the cheeks a little bit more of that flavor gets drawn out which is nice what I can really appreciate about, appreciate about this one is that in some that I've had, I get what I consider like a little bit of a bacon soda type feel, but you're not really picking that up with this one. You have that nice feel of it being a nice double IPA, nice balance between the malt and the hops. Have that nice hop forwardness with this one still. And overall, it's a very fine tasting double IPA. Uh, Hot Butcher definitely did a nice job. First time I've had anything from them. Again, this is the Galaxy Bowl. You can now see some of the lacing taking place on the glass as well. But overall, as far as a double IPA goes, that one hits pretty much on everything that I would kind of expect it to hit on. So very nice from them. I'm looking forward to trying the other ones. It is a very nice beer to sit back and enjoy and relax with. Goes down very easy. Got some nice smoothness on the back end too. So if you've had this one, let me know what you think of it. It is the Galaxy Bowl, again, from Hot Butcher for the World. A very, very nice tasting beer. And uh, thanks for checking out another video. I look forward to catching up with you guys soon. Keep drinking those good craft beers. Remember, there's always time. Get your beer on. Cheers, everybody.